Hello everyone, today we are setting up our raid farm. In order to have a raid farm, we need the um, bad omen. So I have a um, box over there that drops, or I could act, that only spawns pillagers. And we already have bad omen as you can tell, and we have it for a very long time. I already have, there's a village over there, and it's kind of cute, you should see it. Something you might not know is that you can get a pretty decently high, I think it's 5 is the max, so we need to get to um, Bad Omen 5, we need to get to, but there's a problem. It's on easy mode. So yeah, I'm officially... Guess how easy it is to change this difficulty. Yeah, that's literally it. And now it's on hard. Save and quit. And go back in. So yeah, you can even do this. You can technically do that in hard call mode. You can also go into creative mode and hardcore mode if you guys didn't know that. And then set your game mode back to survival and just continue playing. And it will still have the hardcore hearts. Um, we have bad omen too. Maybe we can compare 2 to 5. Maybe. And maybe later we can do that, but... Anyway, I want to just get it started already. So we have literally one house here. We're just going to fight the raid. Why? Because I I have a bunch of golden apples that I want to use. I have four diamond and and god armor. I can already tell that going on to um, hard difficulty has already made a big difference. To give you an idea, um, on easy I had bad omen 5, but I had bad omen 2 this time. And I'm on hard and already it's harder. I only have bad omen 2. And it's already harder. The bell has something special. If you ring the bell, guess what happens? It'll show you every single mob that for a few seconds. Okay, we got our first ravenger. Um, I don't really want to be like, have this be automatic. I just want to do this every now and again. Jeez, um, enchanted golden apple? Yeah, sure. Oh, jeez, one-shotted the golden armor zombie. If it was bad omen 5, I would be dead by now. Wasting so many god apples. Wait, seriously, is another raid? Is another wave coming? What? Oh my goodness, this really is a boss. But yeah, we really need something like... We really need a beacon. Multiple, actually. No wonder why people make raid farms. And I really hope that the raid is over. That was Bad Omen 2. And yes, I have a way to stack totems now.
so I went into the code and now I'm able to stack totems. We could literally just run away. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we got four totems. Okay, that's good. So this time I'm way more prepared, way more. I've been doing, um, I've been doing some adventures while I was out. So I got gold, diamonds, etc. There's still the all generation that got amplified and so I don't need to make gold farms because we got I guess I'll do that. Mm, which one? Um, it's either strength or resistance. I will already have. Um, so I got Nevoi armor. Um, I don't really do the head. Three totems. I'm a lot more prepared. So I'm just going to have three for the ne time being. Actually, yeah, I'm crazy. I'll do more and we'll have extra iron, iron to fuel them up. So, in this chest, I got fuels all of my ores. I got a bunch of emeralds. My ore generation data pack was times six, but I thought that was too much. So I divided everything by two. Um, it, it's not my data pack, sorry. But I divided everything by two, so it should be tripled. So we got battle main two. And there's a beacon right there, so it's really close. And I forgot to give it a beacon effect. So we have to think fast. It's either resistance or strength. Oh boy, uh... Strength, I'm doing strength and strength too. I'm sorry I'm doing strength. Okay, let's do it this time. Let's not use the... The beacon is right there, a little bit out of the way. Okay, now we're going to... That was one wave, now we're going to get iron gongs. But yeah, for raids, I think you're supposed to... Mojang thinks that the player has at least two iron golems or something. So I think that's the reason why. So yeah, this is the same exact bad omen that we had before. Um, I'm thinking of having evoke or spawners one day. Yeah, I don't really, I, mean, I don't really use totems, but now since they can stack, I guess I should use them. If this was a hardcore let's play, I'd still use the stacking totems trick. I'd still do that. Links in the description for the mod. Yep, this is slightly modded. Um, yeah. Yep, 
used one. Don't use the second one. I don't want to use too many. I think one of the golems died. Let's just focus on support. not getting that many totems. Another reason why I don't want totems. Okay, so we're victorious, and I will need to show you. Oh boy, this is crazy. Okay. I need to organize my inventory real quick. The thing I really need to show you is the hero of the village, and... We might need to consider getting rid of it. My custom villagers are affected by it as well. Um, this is not really that good. Wait, how about the obsidian? Uh, no, I shouldn't. But the worst part about this is look six emerald will give you a block of emerald and if we do this we basically get a money exploit and we can just keep on no i want to see see how we're making money yeah so that's why i'm gonna just drink a milk bucket every time i come here and they suddenly, all of a sudden, switch back. So just be careful if you have a village or shop. Just not sure how I feel about. But yeah, this ward is broken. One of the most broken wards in, in the game. The very last thing I wanted to do this episode is to go heal. I've been really struggling on making a disc arena, I mean a disc farm. I tried to make it in arena. I tried to make it so that skeletons over here and over there were shooting while creepers were over here. Just to be crazy. But I decided to do something boring, skeleton. Skeleton. Okay, good, though, they are. I want to show you all that you can get a decent amount of discs. But the thing that I really want to show you. Okay, so I want to show you what happens when you put it in a jukebox. Notice anything? You put one in, and then it just dupes, which I'm not doing that right now, but I'm just showing you. But just wanted to end it there, showing that you can do that, even in vanilla. But anyway, that's about all for today's episode. Um, we did a few things, like a good final thing is just showcasing the glitch, and we're good.